so I'm, I'm, I'm coming here, I'm involved with AHC because uh, I work on gene therapy and I've been moving a number of different um, uh, programs with gene therapy and, treat, and new, novel treatments for uh, a number of diseases into human testing. Uh, I've been working on ATP1A3, alternating hemiplegia of childhood for about a year, uh, a little over a year, where we started to try to explore um, testing a gene therapy approach to treat the disease. So in the last year, uh, in our efforts to try to uh, explore gene therapy as a possible treatment for AHC, um, it, we've been building different versions of a potentially therapeutic virus. Uh, there's a lot that's involved with that, uh, and, and we've got some different options that we've created that are um, just about ready for testing. Um, there's been, you know, to be perfectly honest, the progress has been slow because this is a difficult disease. It's difficult to get everything set up, uh, even to do the right experiment. And, um, and we were really just starting with a concept and starting from scratch about a year ago. So we've gotten to a point right now where uh, we're, we're getting, we're about ready to, to test, uh, do the, do, so we're about ready to start doing the first testing of um, our initial gene therapy design uh, in the laboratory to see if there's any promise for gene therapy to treat AHC. So my involvement with AHC is really a relationship with Simon Frost. He's one of the parents and one of the major um, uh, people trying to drive, uh, work with scientists and drive um, towards a, a treatment for AHC. So Simon and I have been working, you know, really very closely over the last year to try to um, get everything in place to build a gene therapy approach and test it. We're also working with Jackson Laboratories uh, to try to, you know, that's, that's where the, essentially we're doing work in my lab to try to develop the viruses, to try to test and make sure that they're working the way that they should. And then Jackson Labs will help us to, to actually test this in a setting to see if it could be helpful for AHC. So, so in terms of moving this forward towards a human treatment, I mean, we're, we're really still at very early stages of, of trying to test this in a laboratory setting first. Um, there's a lot of problems that we can encounter with, with this actually being safe. Um, so there's a lot of basic questions that we need to answer. I would say if if things go amazingly well, if we don't see any signs uh, that, that, that the gene therapy could be toxic, um, and if we show promise um, that of it actually treating the disease um, uh, in a laboratory setting, then, you know, I'd say at best we could be a couple years away uh, from trying to move this into patients. But to be honest, there's, there's really a lot that has to go right between now and then. And you know, usually the way that things work, there there are roadblocks, there are obstacles. Um, so you know, I, I hesitate to even I, I gave you a I gave you a number, but I hesitate to really um, say anything about what our timing looks like, because you know, inevitably it'll probably take longer than that. So I I would say. I would not be working on this if I didn't think that there was a lot of potential for gene therapy to treat AHC, but I'm aware of certain things that could go wrong. And there are some things that we'll get answers over the next few months uh, to try to tell us if, if things go one way, I'll be very optimistic, and if they go the other way, then I'll be very pessimistic. But I think that we're at least, we're getting close to knowing what our path should look like. So, you know, overall this has been a really fantastic meeting. I think that uh, just looking at what we knew a year ago, that there's more that's known now, and every year when we know more, then it's gonna bring us closer to a treatment. It's gonna bring us closer to hope for these kids that, I mean, they need it yesterday. Um, so I think that everybody in the room understands what the stakes are. I think everybody there is really doing the best that we can promise. And the best that we can promise is to just go and do our best every day. Um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll learn some things, we'll catch some breaks, and we'll move forward. So, so we have some viruses built that are carrying 
you know, the ATP1A3 gene uh, that, you know, I mean, that's the, these, they could be, they could be the same virus that we'll use to try to treat patients. Um, or they could need a lot of modification between then and now. But we'll, we'll find out soon. <laughs>